Hello, hello. Good evening, class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, ladies. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, teacher. Great. Very sad. <laughs> oh, what happened? I, today, I all day clean my house. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <No>. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard, right? So you, I think you're a little bit tired. Yes, teacher. I am sleeping right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, that, that's good. <laughs> that's good. You have done something excellent for, you, <laughs> for your life. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, hello, uh, Karin. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hello, uh, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Let me see who else is here. Um, Sara. Hello, Sarita. Selma. Good evening, Roberta. Hello, hello teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. How are you? Are you here? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we're going to start, guys. So just let me start sharing with you. And for today's lesson, we're going to be talking about some movies. So uh, I hope you like some movies. So we're going to be checking that. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Let me check. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome, guys. Okay, well, you know, uh, we were talking about some um things in the first class uh, working. That's Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Okay, got it. Okay, um, well, we're talking about present participles and past participles as adjectives in the previous class, but we're gonna have, uh, let's say, we're gonna watch the video uh, and later we're gonna try to answer this exercise, okay? To complete this exercise, so that's 3.4, okay? And later we continue with our next topic, which is about, um, well, opinion opinions about movies. So let's start. So I'm gonna play this because you know this is important. Um, so I hope it can help you. And um, well, if you want, you can take some notes, okay? So let's start, guys. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as <clears throat> adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Okay, well, just to uh, check that once more, um, remember, ing participles are in the present form, and the past participles are in an ed form, right? So that's the difference between them. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. 
I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Okay, so this is important in order to understand what, what an adjective is. Remember that the adjective describes a noun, like the, this example, the white cat ran away from John. So which is the adjective in here, guys? Can you see it? Why? White, yes, the color, right? So this is an adjective. And the noun that you're describing? is the cat. Uh-huh, so you're describing the cat. So remember, uh, an adjective describes a noun. So this is important because you're going to be learning about how to use ing or ed, okay? Let's continue. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Okay, so look at this. Uh, remember that participles have uh, another function that is working as an adjective, right? So in order to describe a noun. So the white cat was exciting. And we're going to be checking which is the difference once more, okay, between ing and ed so but in here you can notice that exciting is our adjective which is describing our noun that is uh, the cat right so the white cat was exciting to watch let's continue watch noun cat participle as adjective exciting number two i imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun and past participles describe feeling of a noun. Okay, listen up. Uh, this is really important because you, uh, well, we all need to understand when to use ing or ed. Remember, ing, as she was mentioning, uh, describes a noun, okay? Um, an exciting movie, for example, okay? Or the movie was exciting. So you're describing the movie. So you're describing that noun, that movie. And this an ed describes a feeling of a noun. For example, um, the movie was bored, right? So, or I was bored, for example, while I was watching that movie. So my feeling about the movie is that I was bored, right? I was bored. And um, the movie was boring, okay? How was the movie? Boring. So this is our adjective, ing, remember, describing the noun movie. And uh, when you add a participle in the past tense, in, the past, in a past participle form, so you're describing how you feel in relation to, the, to what you have done or, well, or to the noun, right? I was bored because of the movie, for example. So that's just an example, but you're expressing your, your feelings, right? Your opinions. Let's see, let's continue. Any questions so far? I'll try to simplify it. ING equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ED, equals expresses the feeling or reaction
action. Okay, yes, as I was mentioning, ING, uh, we often um, yeah, express the reason or cause of something, right? And ED expresses the feelings or reactions. Uh, we're going to be checking that again, okay? So we're going to check some... With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. Here, the movie form of these words. Okay, so look at the following example. So we have a comparison, right? Remember, ing describes the noun, ed describes the feelings uh, of a noun, so how you feel related to something. The museum is interesting, so you're describing the museum. Uh, work is tiring, yes, indeed it is. So you're describing the noun work, the movie is exciting, so you're describing how the movie is. And look at this, so we have participles with ed. Remember, you're describing the feelings, right, of a noun. I'm interested, so that's your feeling, right? I'm interested in, uh, let's say, math. I'm tired, so that's your personal opinion, your, that's your feeling. I'm excited, right? So you're expressing or showing some feelings. So now we'll continue, guys, with the exercise. So this is um, 3.4 knowledge check. Let's see. So I'm going to need your help. Uh, let's see. Instructions. Complete these sentences and use the adjectives in brackets. So what do you think? Number one, Johnny Depp is a very... I, I think we didn't do this. Anything. Uh-huh. Anything. Uh-huh. Amazing or amazed? Amazing. 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 <clears throat> yes, indeed. Amazing actor. Uh, I find animated films. So how do you find animated films? Amazing. Mm -hmm. What do you think? A or B? B. Uh-huh, Michelle, Jenny? Let us be. Let us be. Amazed. Okay, so we're going to be checking that soon. I'm not. What do you think, volunteers? You're going to tell your microphone. I'm not. It's grown. Uh, which one? Number two. Number three. It's grown. Interesting. Interested. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I'm not interested or interesting. Interested. Okay. In science fiction movies, number four. Bored. What do you think? Bored. Bored. I'm bored by watching television or I'm boring. What do you think? Boring. Boring. Mm -hmm. Marlene, what do you have? The first one. The first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. You're expressing a feeling. I'm bored by watching television. Mm -hmm. Number five. I thought. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Exciting. I thought Jurassic Park was an. Exciting. 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 Okay, cool. Number six. Um, um fascinated. 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 Okay. By G R R Tolkien's novels. 
I haven't heard about it. <laughs> no idea. Let's see. Yeah, and yeah, I don't know who's uh, talking. Maybe you know. Okay, number seven. Surprising. It's surprising okay. that all of the movies. Oh, yeah. Surprising. Yeah, I think so too. They are very popular. Okay, number eight. Shock. 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 Okay. I was really shocked by the price. Uh, shocking or shocked? What is the pronunciation? Is it shock or sh shocked? Mm, or shock let me see. Shocked. Shocked. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think? It's uh one or two? The second two. one? The second, the second one. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Number nine, the mess uh was disgusting. 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 Yes, it was disgusting. disgusting. Number ten. I always find thrillers too confusing. 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 Now okay. Let's see. We're gonna check that. It's okay. Okay, so there is one that we need to modify. This one. I Peter, animated. Yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a problem with the final exam. Um, Are you doing the final exam? Yes. But oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know how can I do the last one. The, the last letter. exercise. But, but is in the letter. But it's in the in the final exam. Mm -hmm. Let's do something. Um, uh, send me some screenshots to my Wait WhatsApp. A second. Uh huh. And we can check that. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Wait a second, please. Okay, don't worry. You can send me a picture, okay? Okay, so now, guys, we'll continue with our next uh, lesson objective. And Marlene, uh, send me the pictures, okay? So we can check that. I don't know. Um, yeah. Marlene, what is this? The, the C and the A option number three? Because I can't um, see. Oh, wait. you sent a picture. No, you haven't sent a picture. Yes. I'm going to take a picture right now. Picture. Okay. Just with a Send in my chat. Yeah. Yes. Um. Okay, well, while she's working on that, we're gonna continue with uh, this. This is um, our next lesson objective. In this class, you learn and classify synonyms for common adjectives. So we're gonna be classifying some adjectives um, right now, okay? So be ready to take some notes. I'm gonna play I send the picture in the WhatsApp chat. Okay, I'm gonna check. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful. Dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. We want you to write four sentences using the word terrible, fantastic, dreadful, absurd. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful.
dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. Okay, well, right now we're gonna be checking these adjectives. Uh, well, we use these adjectives in order to give some descriptions while you're um, talking about what, like some movies or things or anything that you want to describe, right? But right now we're gonna uh, try to classify these um, adjectives into the correct category. For example, we have four categories, awful, wonderful, stupid, strange. Um, now I need you to try to classify these adjectives into its correct column, okay? For example, I'm gonna give you a hint, awful. So which could, be, well, help me. So which could be an adjective, a synonym for awful, synonym. What's awful, by the way, what's awful? Like Disgusting. a paper. Okay. So which could, could be an, an adjective, a synonym? Uh, horrible, for example. Yeah, horrible. How about, let's see, Um, let me check. Wonderful, so which could be an adjective for wonderful? Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic, cool. For the next one, what do you think? Dumb. Dumb, okay. And the last one, which is strange. Weird. Weird. Okay. Well, Weird. Um, so now you have one example per each uh, category. So now I need you to start working on it and try to um, classify them correctly. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you have any question about one about the instruction or about any adjective. So, but start writing, start classifying them, okay? So you have like, let's say uh, three minutes, is it enough? Yes? No? So, so? <laughs> okay, start classifying them, okay? Start classifying them on your notebooks. Are you ready? Not yet.
Marlene, I got your answer. Yes, the chart. In there, you have to write them. Um, you have to use the word allow, but uh, you can say you are allowed. So you're, you're allowed to. So this way, so check it. Mm -hmm. So you're allowed to take your shoes. Uh, let me see here. To take off your shoes here. So you're comparing the the imperatives. Mm -hmm. So you're allowed to take off your shoes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Let me see. Try with that one. Okay, let's see. Uh, who's ready? Number one, awful. Horrible. So what could be another adjective for opinions, for expressing opinions? When you want to say something is disgusting, you know, horrible, awful, horrible. What else? Terrible. Mm, okay. Terrible. Terrible. What else? Any other adjective? Disgusting. Disgusting. Uh -huh. disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, that's disgusting. Anything else? Dreadful. Ah, okay, dreadful. What, what is that? What's dreadful? Well, you know, since they all are synonyms, so they they share a, a similar meaning, but this could be espantoso, yeah, horrible, terrible, disgusting. How about wonderful? So what adjectives do you have in here? And wonderful. We got one, fantastic. Fabulous. Marvelous. Fabulous, okay. Oh. Fantastic. Marvelous. Okay. What else? Fantastic. We already have it there. What else? Fantastic. Fabulous. Marvelous. Uh-huh. There are, I think there's uh, one more, I think. Yeah, one more. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay. Outstanding. What's the meaning for outstanding, guys? Exceptional. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, and we continue with the next category. We got one, which is dumb. Uh, how about the rest? Ridiculous. Okay. Good. Bizarre, the same, the silly, the same. Any other? Silly. Mm, are, you, are you sure with this one, bizarre? Is it okay here? This one. No. Mm -mm, uh -huh. So can you mention two more for this silly? category? Ah, yeah. Silly and. Mm -hmm. Absurd. Okay, let's see. How about strange? So we have, uh, we're missing three. Yeah. Yeah. Old. I'm going to check. No worries. Uh huh. Old. Old. Okay, old. What else? Mm. Inusual. Mm, okay. Mm. And? Absurd. Bizarre. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's the last one that we were uh, missing. I'm going to play the audio so you can listen to that. 
Um, I'm gonna send you the answer, um, Marlene, don't worry. Okay, teacher, thank you. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. We want you to write four sentences. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. We want you to write four sentences using the words learned about movies, actors, and novels. Okay, so now we're going to be checking a part of the book. Oh, let me check. But before we do it, so we're going to be checking some uh, ratings related to some movies, you know, so just to get some ideas of how to describe them. Let me see. Thank you. I'm gonna clear this. Okay, so I'm gonna need somebody to help me reading the first part. Lesson to describing films. We're study find the adjectives in the comments and what type of film are the comments about. So we have to um you know select which um type of movie are they talking about. Okay, let's see uh, number one. Marlene, could you help us with number one? This is the example. Number one, the where where study. Oh no, I, I was must... so I was so scared. The animal is really bad. It does a, it does such horrible things. Okay, so what is the movie about? It's a movie. Uh huh. What kind of movie is? Comedy, science fiction, adventure, drama, horror. Horror. Yeah, horror movie. Okay, number two. Uh, Jenny, could you help us, Jenny? The film was very funny. We called Stop Louding. Laughing, laughing. Laughing. We couldn't, we couldn't. We stop. couldn't stop laughing. Laughing, laughing like F, laughing. Okay. Com F. So, yeah. With comedy. F. It was comedy. Okay, so I'm going to place these over here just to see. Okay. Let's see. Number three, help us, Roberto. Number three. Number three. Okay. The film was Here's Hair Breaking. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I cried at the same it seems. Some scenes. Some scenes. Oh, some some scenes. I'm sorry. This is so bad when I accident happened. But in some part the history is a bit silly and not very believable. Believable, 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 Be believable. What do you think about this movie? What kind of movie is? I think it's the drama. Drama movie, yeah. You know, I don't like drama movies. All right, me too. <laughs> and let's see the yeah. I think drama. Uh, so yeah, I think that's thriller, right? Suspense. I think that's the one. Um, yeah, I don't like that either. I don't like to have questions about the movie. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, number four, help us, uh, please, um, Giselle or Elisa. Elisa, 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 help us. Number four. 
The special effects are absolutely amazing. I didn't expect them to be so good. You really feel as if you were lost in space too, but it was quite slow in some parts and a bit boring. Okay, so what kind of movie is it? Science fiction or adventure? Science fiction. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you, teacher. Ya me salió buena. Uh, okay. Yeah, whenever you have a question, leave me a text uh, directly to my WhatsApp, okay? Uh, let's see. And the last okay. one, that's comedy. Um, Pai, could you help us reading that, please? Let me see. I want to listen to uh, Jeanette. You hear Jeanette? Oh, well, we have Karen. Karen Elizabeth. The... The history, the history is really exciting. I didn't want the film to end. Mm -hmm. You really care about the main Character. characters and her special mission. The special effect, effects are lovely, lovely to really beautiful. It's a... Uh, <laughs> It's a uh, what do you think? Adventure. 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 Okay. Now uh, that story. 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 The story is really exciting. Story. A story. Mm -hmm. Story. Oh. Like let's say um, I don't remember, but there was a cartoon movie that um had this word, but I don't remember which. Is the name of the movie. The story is really exciting. I didn't want the film to end. You really care about the main character and her special mission. The special effects are lovely too. Uh, really beautiful. Okay, good. Okay. Thanks, uh, guys. And we continue. Oh, uh -huh. yes, tell me. Uh, the, the correct pronunciation is character or character? Character. Character. Mm -hmm. Character, yeah, character. Okay, good. Um, well, we'll continue with this, and we're gonna be talking about movies as I mentioned before. Look at this: a terrific book, but a terrible movie. So the book was fantastic. Terrific means fantastic. A fantastic book, but a terrible movie. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna check some of these movies. Some of the world's most successful movies. Imagine. Number one, can you read that, Roberto? Number one, the movie, the year, and the box office, uh, well, in millions. I think that the money they got. Okay, the the movie is Star Wars. Years, uh, 1977 and 1997. Mm -hmm. And the uh, box office is for for 200. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you help us continue, uh, please, Roberto? Okay, the, the second one. Yeah. Okay, E.T., the extraterrestrial, 1982, uh, 399.9 cent, I think. Mm hmm the another one is uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park, nineteen ninety three, three fifty three, three hundred fifty six with fifty cents, and another one Independence Day, nineteen ninety six, at three hundred sixty with Two cents with twenty cents. Mm -hmm. Three hundred and six. Two I uh, had through three hundred and six. Mm -hmm. And another one is the 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 Lion King. Mm -hmm. Nineteen ninety four, three hundreds. Uh, with forty cent, I think. Mm -hmm. Four. So four. Yeah, forest. Forest gone. That's a good movie. <laughs> yeah. Run for us. <laughs> the, 
This is the best movie, I think. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't nah, know. It's not the best, but it's no. How so am I <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Continue, okay. Roberto. <laughs> okay, Forrest Gone, nineteen ninety four. 298 uh home alone 1990 285 uh return to the jedi uh 1983 yeah 263 jazz 19 uh Seventy-five, two hundred sixty, and the last one, Batman, nineteen eighty-nine, two hundred fifty-one. Fifty-one million. Okay. Million. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're talking about um uh, about the box office that they sold. So they sold uh, a lot. Okay. Imagine. Uh -huh. So they are the top ten. Um, yeah. In these dates. Uh huh. Star Wars. Wow, well, I can't believe one. it. I don't really like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. And I and imagine they sold a lot, right? A lot of uh, box office. Okay, so let's see. Um, how many of these movies have you seen, guys? How many of these movies have you seen? Have you seen any of these movies or a lot of these movies or all of that movies? Which ones have you seen? Uh, in my case, uh, well, in my opinion, I've seen. Let me see. Maybe I have seen. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and five or six. I think five. Stay with five. <laughs> I've seen five. How about you, Robert? I have seen six. I guess. Six, yeah, somehow mm -hmm. I'm the same. Uh -huh. Jenny? I have seen uh, eight movies. Really? Eight of these yeah. movies? Wow. I like what? <laughs> <laughs> Which ones? So which is your favorite from those movies? Which is your favorite? The Lion King. The Lion King. Okay. And you, Roberto? Uh, for me, let me see. Forrest Gone. Um, maybe Independence Day. Maybe. Independence Day. Okay. With uh, Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith. Okay. I, I don't remember that, but I think I have seen it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, how about the rest? Uh, Jenny. Uh, well, let's see. Karen, how about you, Karen? How many of these movies have you seen? I have seen five. Five movies. Five. Uh, okay. Same as me. Which is your favorite? Uh, E.T. E.T. E. Oh, okay. So the <laughs> the, the little alien yes. <laughs> something, something like this with his finger <laughs> okay. well, here's the aliens uh-huh yeah i think yeah the, the extraterrestrial okay um let's see how about neftali how about you neftali too quiet today neftali hello teacher uh well i don't know um and for me i uh -huh. have seen Jurassic park independent independence day and Forrest Gump, Home Alone. Here is Home Alone, but I think is mi, mi Pobre Angelito, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Return of the Yeti and Batman 2. Okay. And for me, the best, no, for me, the best movie is <laughs> Jurassic Park mm -hmm. oh. and Independence Day because uh, the, the human fight uh, Fight for the world and against, uh, como dice contra, against, 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 against uh, extraterrestres. <laughs> okay. And, um, yeah, and, and tell me, what are the three best movies you have seen in the last few years from this list? Or maybe you can mention some others.
this question was for me. Yeah. Could you please repeat, please? I didn't hear very well. Oh, yeah. What are the three best movies you have seen in the last few years? The last three years? Uh-huh. Mm, could be Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jurassic Park. It's so amazing. Just Jurassic Park? Uh, Jurassic Park. I mm. love Jurassic Park, too. Yes, it's a beautiful movie. Yes. Yeah, I love. In, in the forest, <laughs> come too. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm missing one uh, from Jurassic Park. There's a new one, but I don't know how how is it. Um. Okay, I'm planning to what to say. Okay. Do you kind do you kind of movie about about um superheroes? Mm, not really. That's science fiction. About war? <laughs> ah, science fiction. No, not really. I think that's science fiction. Well. Superheroes like Batman, Spider Man. I don't really like that much. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. No, not really. <laughs> not really. Uh -huh. um, yeah, well, that's okay, right? There are some good ones like Transformers. Yeah, I, I like that one. Okay. Uh, Selma, how about you, Selma? So, how many of these movies have you seen? You can activate your microphone, it's off. Okay. Okay, I have seen Star Wars. Okay, Star Wars. Batman. Oh, good. Uh, the Lion King. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just three. Okay, and which is yes. your favorite? Uh, my favorite uh, is Star Wars. Mm, okay, Star Wars. Okay. Well, I agree with you. I don't, I don't like it, but <laughs> that's okay. And okay, so what are the best three movies that you have seen? Three best movies that you have seen, guys. Anybody? Uh, uh, let's see. Wendy, do you want to share with us? Wendy, Cecilia? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell us. Share your experience about these movies with us. So how many of these movies have you seen? Which is your favorite? And what are the three best movies for you? I have seen three movies in Jurassic Park. The Lion King and Forrest Gump. My favorite movie is The Lion King. Okay. In the three, but, uh, I I like The Lion King. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I like it too. Uh, I think that my this is a, a top ten list that we all have seen. Maybe our let's say how do you say this? Um, I, I don't remember that. Or eight, or how do you say? Well, I don't remember, but there's a, like a stage where you are and you belong to that stage. So I think that we all belong to that same uh, <laughs> that time. Okay, so now we're gonna be uh, practicing a conversation. We have uh, 10 minutes to practice. We have a conversation between Paul and Carvo. Look at this. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe what's ah oh, okay so I think we read this yesterday right um no no right no 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 not no, it was another one yeah got it no. okay Okay, so here we have it. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new Stephen Spielberg film? I hear it's really exciting. Who's Stephen Spielberg? You know he directed Jaws, E.T., and Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park was boring. The, look by, the book by Michael Crichton was fascinating, but the movie was terrible. 
Well, I'm interested in that new Johnny Depp movie. It's a romance. Um, it's uh, being played for about a month. Now that sounds good. I've never seen him in a romance. And I think he's a wonderful actor. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if we have it. Let me see if we have it over here. Oh, maybe here. This one. Page 88. Exercise 5. Listening. How did you like it? No. Part A. Listen to people talk of page 88. Okay, no, we don't have the audio. Let's see. So we're going to practice that together. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? Uh, how about the new Stephen Spielberg film? I hear it's really interesting. Who's Stephen Spielberg? You know, he directed Jaws, E.T., and Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park was boring. The book by Michael Crichton was fascinating, but the movie was terrible. Well, I'm interested in that new Johnny Depp movie. It's a romance. It's been playing for about a month. It's been playing for about a month. Now that sounds good. I've never seen him in a romance, and I think he's a wonderful actor. So he's Johnny Depp, okay, when he was young. <laughs> Obviously, okay. he's the best actor. Yeah, yeah, he's so funny, you know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, volunteers. So we're gonna start with. Let me see, Edgar. Uh, you hear Edgar? No. Yeah, I think he's a listener. Elisa and Giselle. Me, Paul. Okay, and Giselle, Giselle Maria Hernandez. I to your microphone, Giselle. Not here. Okay, maybe Jeanette, you hear Jeanette? Jeanette Carolina? <laughs> I'm gonna say, say present. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Jose, Lino, too quiet today. Jose, go ahead. Hello. Okay. I am Paul. Yeah. Okay. Mm, do, you want to do, do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe. What's play? How about the new Steven Spielberg? Spielberg film. I hear it's really exciting. Who's Stephen Spielberg? You know, he direct he directed Jaws, E.T. and Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park was boring. The book, but. But by Michael Crichton was fascinating, but the movie was terrible. Well, I am interested in that uh, new Johnny Deep movie. It's a romance. It's been playing for about a month. Now that song good. Uh, I've been never seen in a romance, and I think he's a wonderful actor. Okay, thank you guys. A romance. Uh, it's a romance. It's been playing for about a month. Now that sounds good. I never seen him in a romance. Uh, and I think he's a wonderful actor. Let's see uh, next. Volunteer, activate your microphones, please. Activate your microphones. Okay. Okay. Got it. And Marlene. Okay, I am Carol. You are Carol. Yeah. Oh, hold okay. on. I am gonna ask somebody else. Selma, could you be Lean, please? Selma, could you read Lean for Lean? Okay. Okay. Start, please. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new Steven? A Spielberg film. I hear it's really exciting. 
Who's Steven Spielberg? Who's Paul? Marlene? Are you Paul? Who's Paul? Es que usted es el más equivocado. <risa> Karen, se equivocó usted. Ah, <risa> oh, sí, yo, ajá. <risa> Sorry. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Continue, oh. lady. Oh. Bueno, seguía Paul. Carol. Paul. Uh, ah, sí. Paul. You know he directed just E.T. and Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park was boring. The book by Michael Crichton was fantastic, but the movie was terrible. Mm -hmm. Well, I am interested in that new Johnny Deep movie. It's a romance. It's been playing for about a month. Now that the some the some good. It never seen him in a romance, and I think he's a one, a wonderful actor. Okay, thank you, ladies. And let's see three more. Activate your microphones, please. Three more. Okay, Michelle, one. So we got Michelle, Jenny. Okay, thank you, Jenny, and Sara Elisa. <laughs> Okay, star, please. Thanks, ladies. I am Paul. Okay. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm, maybe what's playing? Sara, you're lean. How about the new Steven Spielberg film? I hear Who's it's a... really exciting. <laughs> Who's a Steven Spielberg? You know... He direct Joe's E.T. and Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park was boring. The book by Michael Michael Keaton was fascinating, but the movie was terrible. Well, I'm interested in that new Johnny Depp movie. It's a romance. It's been playing for about a month. No, that sounds good. Now that's so good. I've never seen him uh, in a romance. And I think he's a wonderful actor. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Well, I'm going to pass the tennis list. Um, Please say present, uh, guys. And remember, whenever you have a question, leave me a text, okay? So I can check that personally. Okay, let's see. We have uh, Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Elisa Arely Lopez Campos. Giselle Maria Hernandez Torres. Giselle Maria Hernandez Torres. That's so strange. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Present teacher. Thanks. Teacher Giselle Marie say present in the chat. Okay. Okay. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Olar. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Ivette Villanueva Guzmán. María Santos López López. Present teacher. Thanks. Marlene Elizabeth Bayo Barahona. Present teacher. Thanks. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Present teacher. Thanks, Michelle. Neftalí Antonio Mejía. Present teacher. Thanks, Neftalí. Oscar Alexander Santana. Present teacher. Thanks, Oscar. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Present teacher. Thanks, Roberto. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. 
Thanks, Sara. Selma Jamilet Peña. Present. Thank you, Selma. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present. Thanks. And Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Present, teacher. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, uh, thanks a lot for being here today. I'll see you in our next class, so please don't skip classes. So I'll see you on Monday, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye, teacher. Okay, have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.